Well, hi there. Welcome to the garden. We're going to show you a couple tools today. First, we're going to focus on some wonderful gloves that you would probably want to wear if you're doing any sort of gardening or farming. Gloves help you keep your hands safe when you are digging around and having fun. You will find that they can be useful in many an occasion. Here's a multitude of equipment that you can put on your hand and you take it off just as you would a regular glove. Feel free to center your doggy or squirrel urges by finding things underground with these gloves. They'll keep your hands nice and clean while you're working in the soil that gets you awfully dirty sometimes. Gloves come in a multitude of sizes and different materials such as leather, fabric, and plastic. Our next wonderful tool is the garden rake, or the flat rake, or many other terms that you may have heard from friends or family. This is a versatile tool that stands about five and a half feet tall. You will be able to grab it and you'll want to use two hands whenever using this entire piece of equipment. You will get the best results when you pull in short and strong little swipes. This can help you move soil, dirt, grass, thorny stuff, you name it, it will help you power through and stay rigid while you do your work in the garden. For deeper poles, obviously slap that stick down into the soil and you can get what you need faster. It, however, takes more strength. Here are some brambly patches. Obviously, you can clean them up quicker than you could say a dog could whistle. Look at it go. No stopping this machine. Wowee, what stubborn brush was there? I don't know, we got rid of it. This is leveling. Leveling allows you to make a flat surface where you could plant something or create a garden. Some people like level spaces. Others enjoy hills or mountains, for instance. You may also use the back of the rake. This helps with making a fine adjustment without digging those pesky teeth into the soil. It's a wonderful tool for getting those caked on wet leaves that have been in your gutters for months and yes, it works on grass, even concrete. You'll enjoy using this tool for years to come. Just keep it inside so it doesn't rust. Mm. Our next tool is a wonderful tool for your garden or farm. It's a shovel, more specifically a spade shovel, for the shape of its head is a spade almost. You can use it in a multitude of things, but its main purpose is digging. You put your feet on the resting places and you can press down to give yourself more leverage when going into the earth. Sometimes you really need to get down there and maybe break a root. Well, do the shovel dance and you'll be able to pull out the material quicker than you can say. Well, whiskers on my nose. This is how you would dig a hole for a tree. I prefer doing a square. I think it works best, especially it allows me to know that I've gotten a space if I wanted to plant my tree. Pull out the material and just a couple of scoops, you're ready to input your tree into the ground to serve generations after us. Wow, thank you, Earth. One thing you may not think your tool can do this shovel is equipped with prying things. Watch this. Hmm, that log's heavy. Well, not anymore. I've lifted it up and I can move it around my garden. How nice. Oh, what's this little specimen? It's a ten-pronged pitchfork. Now, this tool, not the most versatile, but what it can do, it does really well. For instance, moving mulch or moving soil or straw. After all, it is called a pitchfork. It allows you to move material by pitching it into another apparatus or into another space. So, you can use it in a couple of ways. You can use the jab technique. Watch this. Ready? 
jab. And just like the little rake, you'll want to hold it with two hands. So jabbing it into the ground and throwing. Jabbing into the ground and throwing. This is the premise of this tool, and it does it quite well. You will find that you need to clean the prongs every once in a while, as they get muddled by debris that you're picking up. Like the shovel, you can use it to press into the ground. Our next tool is a trowel, or a hand trowel. It's a smaller version of a shovel, and it comes with inch marks so that you know how deep to plant something. This is a plastic version. I would never suggest getting a plastic version. However, if you're going for cost effective, it may be that, but it will probably break, as you have to do a lot of digging with these little things. Here's a little piece of grass that we thought was so silly in our garden. Where'd you come from? It's time to get rid of you. So what do you do? Just press it in and deliver the blow to the root system. You'll be able to pull it right out. Hmm, how effective. That's its main purpose. Thanks for t watching our video. And next time we'll talk about many more tools. So tune in and make sure you keep getting out there and getting dirty. You never want to stop that. The earth isn't going to grow itself necessarily. Well, not in the way you want it.